this nickel variety can be worth tens of thousands of dollars. The key element is a small mint mark on the reverse. Hey guys! Welcome back to Coinas. So this is 1942 D. Jefferson nickel in mint state 66. Comes with full steps on the reverse and is proven by CAC for Excelsior. It is considered one of the most dramatic mint mark blunders. The mint mark D is punched over horizontal D. Most of the blundered mint mark varieties are slightly misplaced, sometimes even upside down. This one has the D put in horizontal at first, then corrected, but the evidence is clear with the flat upright at the top of the inside loop of the D, and the rounded base sticking out well to the left of the final D. The surfaces are virtually perfect, with the open fields and devices inviting to study. For identification there is a tiny tick on Jefferson's ear. It was sold for $21,737.50 at Legend Rare Coin Auctions. By the way if you haven't subscribed yet please do it so, to watch daily high definition rare coin videos. This is 1979 P. Susan B. Anthony Dollar. Highly elusive wide rim variety. Graded in mint state 67 plus by PCGS. A slight design modification in 1979 resulted in a wider rim on the Susan B. Anthony dollar than had been previously used. This variety is sometimes referred to as the near-date variety, since the date appears closer to the rim. The wide rim variety is significantly scarcer in MS67 than than its narrow rim counterpart. Both sides display a lovely blend of sun gold and sky blue toning, with well-struck design elements and no significant abrasions. It was sold for $6,462.50 at Heritage Auctions. Here is 1909 SVDB cent graded in mint state 65 red and brown by NGC. The 1909 SVDB has much in its favor. It is the lowest mintage regular issue in the series. It is a first year issue, struck at a branch mint. And there is a popular story behind the rapid removal of the prominent designer's initials on the reverse excerpt. Fortunately for collectors, enough examples were saved that even gems are obtainable, yet desirable. This sharply struck example displays considerable orange gold color, though hints of lilac toning are also evident. One faint fingerprint fragment on the upper left reverse. Sold on March 28, 2023 4. $4,440 at Heritage Auctions. This is 1971 S. Eisenhower dollar in mint state 67 plus. All three mints, Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco, issued Eisenhower dollars in 1971, the first year of issue for the design, and the first dollar denomination coin issued since 1935. While the Philadelphia and Denver mint struck coins in the standard clad composition, those produced at San Francisco were struck on 40% silver blanks. This superb gem is fully brilliant with untuned silver surfaces. Sold on January 12, 2023 for $2,640 at Heritage Auctions. Here is 1974 Kennedy half dollar with double die obverse. Graded in mint state 66 by NGC. The 1974 D double die obverse Kennedy half dollar is the only major double die variety in the entire Kennedy half dollar series. The doubling on the obverse is most prominent on the words, in God we trust. But you need to closely inspect your 1974 half dollars to spot this error as doubling is not that evident. Sold for $411.25 at Heritage Auctions. And this is 2006 P. Sacagawea dollars in brilliant uncirculated condition. Graded in mint state 68 by NGC. The 2006 P. Sacagawea dollar coin is not considered rare. However, in general, a 2006 P. Sacagawea dollar MS68 may have some value to collectors, especially if it is in excellent condition and has no defects. It is always best to consult with a reputable coin dealer or professional grading service for a more accurate valuation. This gem was sold for $210 on March 22, 2023 at Heritage Auctions. Thanks for watching guys. If you have such rare coins feel free to post them for sale on our website, thecoines.com. And don't forget to hit the like button. Have a good one.